Hi, my name is Mark and I work in video production and uh, for many years for editing I have been using Logitech's mics. This one has uh, just stopped working, I've had this for, like, for forever. This is the replacement mouse for it, MX Master 3S for Mac. And I use Mac so that's why I got this one. But it's, uh, this is a great mouse too, you can use it on three different computers and it's silent and it's got a few new features, that kind of thing, but basically the same design. I want to keep this mouse for travel or, you know, as a spare mouse and so I'm going to see if I can get this one working again. One of the things that goes wrong with these mice is the gesture button and it, sometimes it gets stuck and it stops the mouse from working pretty much at all. You can actually apply pressure here and that will enable you to, for the cursor to move and that kind of thing, but... If this button gets locked in the down position, then everything is going to stop working. And that's a problem, obviously, so we're going to try and fix that today. What you're going to need is a screwdriver with a particular type of screw head. These are very odd little screws, but I got a set. I've had this for a long time, too. These are just very small screw heads. You can get sets like this at like Home Depot, and uh, you just need to find the one that has this little sort of like star pattern on it, and that's what you're going to use to open up the mouse. Uh, we're also going to need some double-sided tape. I got the Scotch brand type just on Amazon, because what we're going to do, we have to do is take these pads off here, because there's a couple of screws under here that we're going to have to take off, so we're going to do that. If you don't want to lose our screws, so first off, I'm going to take out this one screw here. I can get into it. Okay, it's a little difficult to lock in there. Oop, there goes one. Oh, good idea to make sure it's turned off as well. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the battery's still in there, but just make sure it's turned off. So I'm just going to take these screws off here. So now you're going to need a knife or some kind of sharp implement. And we're going to take off these pads. You can get underneath them and just leverage them up. Just peel it back. As you can see, it's already got like double-sided tape on it. So we're going to peel that back. I'm going to lift this one up as well. Just need to sort of jimmy it up a little bit. Once you've got it, it'll pull off quite easily. Again, we're going to reattach these. So place this down in the order that I took them off so I can remember which way they go. Oh, now these little screws, are just, these are just regular Phillips type small screws. So I'm going to find a head that matches that. Let's head off here in front of there for the moment. So I'm uh, unscrewing these four screws here that have Phillips type heads. You can see they're quite tiny. Once I've got these off, it's like it's coming off. Let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. There's a little button here that gets caught and it gets caught in the down position. And apparently if you could just raise those screws a little bit and make it so it will release, everything should work again. So we shall see. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny little Phillips head. I am just gonna loosen this screw, just a fraction. I'm gonna loosen this one, just a fraction. Now that button is pressing. So this mouse should work now. So we shall see. Let's gonna have a quick look inside because it is a bit dirty. I should probably clean that wheel off. My little wheel's actually kind of falling apart here. I've used it so much. So tell me what your favorite mouse is for video editing. I like this one because I can use it to jump between different computers. Okay, it's a little better. So before I put it back together again, I'm just gonna blow out some of the stuff that's in here. Years of abuse. All right, so uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is put this thing back together again. Just clips back into place. Now, what I'd recommend is before you seal this up completely is that you test it. So big screws here, big Phillips ones go on the four. So I'm gonna put those in first, then I'm just gonna test it. So here's my laptop, system settings, see if this will even connect. I'm gonna turn it on again. I have it set on my MacBook to computer one, flashing at the moment. So I am going to go into Bluetooth and you might be able to see here on the screen, I've got my MX Master 2S connected there. Down the side here, you can see I'm able to move things around, which is great. Let's just make sure everything's working. Right click, yeah, right click's working. Left click is working. And so my mouse is now working again. So this mouse is fixed. I've just got to put it back together again. I'm just going to turn it off. I think as you can see, these screws can bounce around a little bit. It would help if I had a magnetic head on my screwdriver here. I won't take this off again, hopefully ever. And one last twist. Now I've got these two baby screws that go in at the top. They're a little fiddly. Don't be surprised if you drop them. Don't do this on black. You will never find them. That's why I use a little white cap here to put all my screws in. Yes, yeah, so tighten them up once, let everything settle, and then just give them another tighten. Now I've got to put these covers back on. So what I need to do is get some tape 
I'm going to pull some tape off here, get it stuck in the right place. The small one first, so I'm just going to lay the tape over this and then cut it out. Just go around there with my knife twice, feel that back, and see if we can stick this on first time in the right spot. So I'm just placing this as carefully as I can. Yep, that's good. And I'm pressing that down as hard as I can because you don't want this coming off. Okay, that's that one. This one's going to be a little more tricky because it's wider. So you have to be careful with this tape because it will rip. And if it rips, it's a bit of a pain because it's hard to find the start of it again and then you end up getting two pieces of two thicknesses of tape anyway. So what I'm going to do is going to measure this to about there. That's good enough. I'm going to take that bit, put this on. Don't want to overlap them. Sometimes you can get two little bits of feathers of tape, you know, where it's you pulled up two pieces of tape or it's torn or something, and I've got one there. I'm going to just pull that off. Now I'm going to cut just like I did with the first one. Just watch your fingers to get as close to the edge as possible. Peeling off the excess. Now let's try and stick this back down again. So it's going to be a bit tricky. Get that to line up. Push it down with my fingers. There you go. One perfectly functioning mouse. Give it a bit of a clean. Why not? And there's my new Logitech mouse. And as you can see, it's still working and the light comes on. And so that's pretty easy to do. As you can see, I did it in a few minutes. And uh, so don't throw your mouse away. If it doesn't work, you don't have to get a new one. Try fixing it first. It's pretty simple. The tape cost me like $5 and that was it. Screwdrivers. And it, I mean, you'll have to buy some if you don't have a set. So I hope that helps you. That's how you can fix a Logitech mouse. Check out my YouTube channel for more videos and see you next time.